I'm s Welcome back to Tales of Symphonia. I'm sorry, this mu I this music it. sounds like it's it, this music sounds like elevator music. Yeah, at least it's at least it doesn't sound like a MIDI to like you say most of the songs in this OST. No, it's deep. definitely a MIDI. <laughs> oh no, no. At least at least and it's on the topic of music, at least it's not the non-switch version of Dragon Quest XI, because holy crap! <laughs> you mean Smash? You mean Dragon Quest and Smash? Well, Dragon Quest XI, damn it, <laughs> specifically XI. <laughs> Dragon Quest in general. Well, I'm just saying Dragon Quest XI because XI Switch actually uses an orchestral soundtrack. Unlike every other version of that game. <laughs> and that game came out in 2018, which is kind of ridiculous. That's wi it's, it's also anyway. kind of weird, but moving on. We can talk about um, Toriyama later. That, that's not Toriyama, that's Sugiyama. <laughs> well, he's the one that does the designs for it. Yeah, but he has n he's not the one that's in charge of the music. That's Sugiyama. That's why we only have two so that's why we only have two Dragon Quest songs in Smash. Because You mean two two We have two rights. Dragon Quest songs per hero. <laughs> <laughs> Which is still more than Cloud got, by the way. Yes it is. <laughs> Which is really kind of fucking sad. Yes it is. Especially considering Enix is part of Square now, so it's literally Square screwing our it's literally Square dicking itself over. Yes, it is. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, th this, this puzzle sucks. Uh. This puzzle fucking sucks. Ugh, I drank the entire bottle. Already? That last part was barely 20 minutes. <laughs> I know. For God's sakes, man. <laughs> I'm gonna need to get another bottle. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So yeah, so this part is basically I just have to remember how to get over to the to the right hand side there. I'm at. Cl I need to get over to that cliff on the left hand side there. You look at the skit. You look at the skit, huh? Huh? You look at the skit, huh? Huh? I'll look at the skit eventually. You look at the skit, huh? I'll look at it eventually, just like how past me will soon realize that you can't get anywhere from that side. I think you actually have to Get kill. I think it, already. I think you have to actually kill one of the plants because one of them's tuning it out. Yeah, but you do. But I have to. There we go. Yeah. See, even Lloyd hates this damn dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, go, I don't know. I can just fly over. Yeah, you could do a lot of things, sweetie. <laughs> but nobody will let me do it. I. Giving one of the main characters the ability to fly really is a really big freaking design flaw of this game. When you see that Colette can fly to places in cutscenes, just saying. <laughs> now this is well, just you me really, getting well. The now that I think about it, <clears throat> now that I think about it, they'd have to treat they'd have to treat her like like they did with Arche and make her the pack mule. Oh, at least we get a funny skit here. <laughs> what are you doing? Well, the social swing doesn't seem to do anything useful when there isn't any wind. You're in a bubble! Oh, damn it. <laughs> it becomes Bubble Man. No, oh, if he was Bubble Man, he'd be able to swim. <laughs> just swim harder. <laughs> There's no water here. <laughs> it gave you the power to swim harder. Oh, wait, we can't swim anyway. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, that would have been useful a dungeon ago when we could have just walked into the- where we could have just jumped into the frickin' lake and picked up the damn fruit. <laughs> fuck that fish. <laughs> fuck that fish, fuck that fish, fuck, fuck, fuck that fish, fuck that fish, fuck, fuck. You, you could have just stabbed the damn fish it was just trying to eat you. <laughs> <laughs> Here, Zell's going to the bubble. Okay. Just push it away, just push it. Nope, no, pass me. You got the timing wrong again. You can do it. <laughs> Three, two, one. Okay, do it now. There you it's go. It. It's a, I it's knew like, you hey, could put, do it. Here, push. Use this butt. <clears throat> hey, hey, Zellis, put, get on this bubble. Okay. Just push the bubble off the cliff. And then I realized it pushed me right back to where I just was. Damn it. 
Just kill one. God, this. Just kill that one. Kill that plant and just go. Yeah, I jump cut. Yeah, so you you kill that. You kill the plant on the right, and then you come. Then you come over here, and then you can go over this way. This is what I've been trying to tell you to do, which I've been trying to tell past you to do. That's what I should say. Even though it's okay, just be thankful. Even though it's, fruit, even though it's fruitless <laughs> because I'm watching a vetted video. Unless he's learned, unless Luigi's learned how to time travel, then good. Go back in time and tell past me how to do this dungeon faster. Because oh, goddamn, man. I've been recording for almost an hour, as you can see by the elapsed time in the menu there. Oh, God damn it, this dungeon is. Oh on. man, you missed the you missed the silent takedown on the plant. <laughs> Lloyd has not played a Batman game in his life. He doesn't know how to do takedowns. Oh, man. Okay. So, that looks like you're screwed, but no, you're actually supposed to go over here. <laughs> I think I remember what I did originally for this for this dungeon. What did you do? <laughs> I have put in the fake ending part. <laughs> oh, right, I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what I'm doing, if you come over here, you can get a star cap for Genus. Be thankful, you little shit, because now I gotta go through that whole frickin' puzzle again to get back here, because there's no way to get back here without restarting the whole thing from the beginning. Because this thing doesn't bring me back to the way I was supposed to go. <laughs> oh, it does make me uncomfortable. Why can't we just take the plant with us? <laughs> just uproot the plant and take it with you. There's too many- There, well, there's enough plants here. Come on past me! It's not that hard to get the timing Super right! Super jump! There you go. Yeah, see, Lionel, you know this is annoying too, don't you? I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> what, did he walk away? No. Oh, now he did. Ah. <laughs> he had to give him a second. Well, to be fair, going this way, while it is annoying that you gotta redo the whole thing again, you do get some decent equipment for Genus and Zelos. Shark! So. Or piranha. That's not a shark, it's a fish. Piranha. Somehow on land. Yes. I'm not sure how that works. <laughs> Don't ask questions. <laughs> no, 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 wait. No, Even but... though I do have to backtrack. <laughs> Everything stays the same as it was before, so it's just a matter of walking back to where I just no, was. No, be better response. Don't ask questions you're not re you're not prepared to hear the answer for. Good point. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I like that quote. <laughs> the bubble, the, the slug went in the bubble. This bubble shield sucks. You're poisoned again, you ant dumbass. You're a fucking asshole! <laughs> I don't know why Sheena keeps getting fucking poisoned! I'm not doing it on purpose! <laughs> Use a poison bottle, for God's sake! No! Why not? I'll be fine. <laughs> I'll be fine, he says, as everybody has low TP for the remainder of the dungeon. Nah, we'll be fine. And then you use Purify on a pro. Then you use Purify on Berserk. To be fair, I should, to be to be perfectly honest, while I have nothing against Sheena, I probably should have I probably should be using Genus instead, but I wanted to get her some levels because she's been out of the party for a while. <laughs> it's your own damn fault. <laughs> what, for trying to balance out everyone else in my party? I'm sorry I have eight party members and I can only use half of them at a time. <laughs> I still had a balance party! What's your excuse? I'm using them, I'm using them all equally. <laughs> there, I, when I played this game, I had a balanced party in levels. What's your excuse? They're still pretty balanced, regardless. They're not that far behind each other. <laughs> you still, they still gain small amounts of experience when they're not in your party. So it's not like I'm screwing myself over. <laughs> You're the one that was you're the one that was complaining about not uh, people going but getting behind because they haven't been in the party. I'm like, eh? it's like I bet I make them even in party. I make them even in levels. What are you talking about? What? What's your excuse? Oh, 
All right. Pass me. You need to... You're in the right... You got the right idea, but you got to revive that other plant first. Which one? The one in the back? Yeah. No. You have to kill... You have to revive the other one and then kill the other one, right? No, it, I have to revive this one first. Because oh. this one will push you upward after the other one blows you across it. And that's how you get to the third section. Oh, that's right. It's been a while. By all, by all accounts, that shouldn't work, because I'm technically not going in the right direction. There! It also breaks, wow, it also breaks laws of physics. It does, but everything in this dungeon breaks the laws of physics. Okay, to, now, to be fair to this dungeon, once you get to this point into the level, you pretty much won, because it's a straight shot upward. <laughs> it's the first two areas that goddamn suck, because there's a lot of freaking running around. And here, this is me trying to think, like, does... Do I want to go across the other side of there first, or do I want to come up here first? And no, I think don't. I want to go up this way first. <laughs> no, you don't. No, I was I was thinking that I... I was thinking I could reach it from over here. No, and you can't. I'll eventually realize I can't. <laughs> you cannot. I'll, yeah, I figured it out right here, because I'm like... But the bigger plants... Now the timing is a little bit different because they sh they shoot out faster, so my timing is a little bit inaccurate on these nah, things. They shoot out about the same speed. No, I think the giant ones. Yeah, see, the giant ones push you faster, which makes you go across the screen further. Oh, I thought you were, I thought you meant that they were. <clears throat> I thought you meant that they shot out fat. They shot. They shot out at a different timing, but I was gonna say no, they don't. I, th I think they do. I could be wrong, no, they, though. It's, it's hard to tell they don't. sometimes. Okay. They just make you... They just yeah, make so you as you can see, I've been in this dungeon for over an hour. Because fuck this place. I think at this point, you're just... I think at this point, you're in pa You're just getting impatient. No, right now, I know I'm doing the right thing. I was just... Because I've been... Because I've been recording for so long, I just want to get it over yeah, with. Yeah, that's your impatience talking. Go in the cave. I think I also was recording this on a day that I was about to go to a night shift, which I had plenty of time to do before then, otherwise I wouldn't have been recording. Mimic. But, yeah, that mimic, before I edited this video, this video was, 30, was 42 minutes long, because that damn mimic took like seven minutes. <laughs> Why? I don't know. He wouldn't fucking die. <laughs> it's a Dark Souls mimic. <laughs> no, I, the mimics are annoying because they can only be damaged by spells. And I guess it's a Dark Souls that I had. Oh, it really? Was a Dark Souls mimic. mimic. <laughs> and I guess the team I was using at the time didn't have enough magic spells, so like only one or two people could actually hurt it at the at a time. No, it's almost like really it. It's annoying. almost like you benched the Black Knight. It's almost like you benched the Black Mage. Yeah, because someone like you is going like, hey, why aren't you using Sheena more often? So when I finally do, it dicks me over. <laughs> it's almost it's almost like you don't use this character. It's not my fault that that Sheena doesn't have magic-based attacks that work on mimics. <laughs> I still used her here. Yeah, I had it. Yeah, I had Jenny's genius for that. I didn't use I didn't use your party at all. Your party's a, yeah, your we'll party's like me, except replace Colette with Genus, because he's the black mage. That will just, be fine. Have, just have him spit just have him set fire to everything. To be fair, I probably should I, I really should have been using Genus because every enemy in this area is weak to fire. Yeah. <laughs> but What oh you wow. could also what you also could have done is um is give uh, Lloyd like um, a uh, an item that makes his weapon make his weapons uh, fire based. Now that I'm not sure if I have items that do that. I, I I'm not exactly sure if I'm not about. sure if you do. I'm not sure if you get them at this point in the game or not though. I can't remember. Yeah, like I said, I know exactly what you're talking about. I just don't know if yeah, I have those um, yet or not. Because <laughs> you actually do need you actually do need that to unlock one of Lloyd's moves. Yeah. It's also one of the only ways you can get darkness-based spells, darkness-based attacks in this game. Because we, I've mentioned this before, but for some reason, 
Namco decided not to program dark spells for Genus and Rain. Even though that, even though we, well, even though hackers have proved they can use those dark spells just fine. Well, well, Genus has a couple dark spells. It's Rain that's supposed to be able to learn Dark Sphere and Bloody Lance, but as her alternates, she can also use that. She, she she can also use Acid Rain. Yeah, but for some reason they didn't program her to have those. Arts. No, they did. They did. They just took it. They just took it out. They just for her specifically yes. because other characters have those. Yeah, they took it out for. Actually, from my understanding, they actually took it out. They actually took those out for rain, be just for ad just to make the game challenging. I mean, the game's simple enough already as it is. I can understand thinking that giving her dark spells as an alternate would would break the game, but that's that's on Namco for design oh, flaws. That, that's having, totally that's totally on Namco. I'm not, we were, I wasn't even gonna say like, anything. I'm just bringing. I was like, hey. Yeah, it's almost like when you make 80% of your bosses weak to darkness, having one of your main mages have dark-based attacks is going to fucking break the game in half. <laughs> and I mean, there's nothing wrong with the game being too... E it, there's nothing wrong with having an easy combat in RPGs, but you got to balance it out somewhat. <laughs> if I remember what... Uh, are, are we approaching the boss at this point? I can't remember. Yes, up here, I think... Yeah, up here is where the boss is. Or, well, the storyteller. Are we there we yet? Go talk Are we to. there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Shut up. That's a good question. <laughs> Say, huh? Are we there yet? Yeah, Shut for up. some reason, Zealous just... For this dungeon in particular, Zealous is a real prick for no real reason. <laughs> I think he's just getting impatient at this point. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, I can I can sympathize with the guy. This dungeon takes a lot longer than it should. Is this the one I'm thinking? Also, of? we're still technically not done. <laughs> There's still one more area we can go. We have to go through because three isn't enough. We need to do. We need to go through four areas. Well, technically, four, but we'll figure that out in the next part, because this is where the storyteller is, but there's still one more section before the boss. <laughs> Ugh. We're almost freaking done. Let's see. I have two more beer bottles. Should I bring them out? For God's sake. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> yeah, well, will Muichi bring out his beer bottles? Find out next part. <laughs> oh, God. I'm turning him into an alcoholic. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> you act like these actually get me drunk. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Oh, the good point. You're not. You're not advanced logic. 